Today, I would like to discuss with you the numerical modeling of shock waves, in particular using Gatunov type numerical scheme. Professor Sergei Gatunov from Novosibirsk State University in Russia in Siberia was the first one in the world who proposed to use and solve Riemann, sol uh, Riemann problems at every intercell, at every tiny step to calculate numerical fluxes in order to model shock waves numerically. This is why every numerical scheme based on Riemann solvers I call Godunov type numerical scheme. And the original Godunov scheme is the first to accurate upwind conservative finite volume uh, numerical scheme, shock actually. So here F stars are coming from Riemann solvers. Uh, there is this great book written by Professor Toro from University of Trento, Riemann Solvers and Numerical Methods for Fluid Dynamics, where um, all common uh, Riemann Solvers are very well represented uh, and summarized, so, like, uh, for example, HLA, HLEC, ROE. Otherwise, there is another book by Levesque, Numerical Methods for Conservation Laws. But what is the shock wave in general? Shock waves, from a mathematical point of view, is the um, discontinuity in the solution. It's an um, abrupt transition in all state variables, density, velocity, pressure. And actually, every one of you see shock waves several times per day in the kitchen sink, as a, as a hydraulic jump, um, in the divergent flow. There is this typical test case, which is uh, called sometimes um, shock tube problem, SOT problem, or in hydraulics is a dam break test case. So the physical setup is a tube filled with gas, initially divided by a membrane into two sections. The gas has a high density and pressure in one half of the tube than in the other half, with zero velocity everywhere. At time t equals zero, the membrane is suddenly removed, and the gas is allowed to flow. The solution will be very interesting. It's it has this several uh, the following structure. There is a shock wave which propagates from the high pressure to the low pressure section. There is a rarefaction wave which is moving in the opposite direction to the shock wave. And between there is a contact discontinuity. Now we imagine that instead of these um, gas sections, you have your grid cells uh, with piecewise constant um, average um, values of your state variables and to find a uh, flux in the middle between grid cells you solve Riemann problems it, it, it comes from the Riemann solvers for example HLAC solver takes in account all three ways HLA takes in account only fastest and slowest ways so, so HLA takes in account only two ways so but there are many other uh, Riemann solvers and now I will show you uh, a shallow water analog of shock instability. It's a, uh, it's experiment produced by the French scientist Thierry Foglizo. He is astrophysicist, and this experiment is a permanent collection at Paris de la Découverte in Paris, where scientists they explain to children of supernova formation um, and black holes with this uh, cup of water. So the water uh, at the beginning enters uniformly. Uh, the flow is um, super critical through this bigger than one, but in the end there is an obstacle in the middle. So the flow is decelerates because of the obstacle and becomes subcritical. Root number is less than one. So the transition from supercritical to subcritical goes through the hydraulic jump formation. And this hydraulic jump is not stationary, it starts to oscillate. And then it's even more interesting. These oscillations um, transition into rotation with the formation of the singular point. So this now imagine that you have a dying star uh, which starts to collapse. It's collapsing, collapsing, like he, this water here in the convergent um, uh, flow. And then it said it collapsed until the some limit and then an explosion and supernova formed. So this is an um, example of um, shock wave instability.